Hey, we're building habitat. We're using uh, these wonderful kids from these local schools to build brand new habitat. Louisiana's got such a problem with losing our coast and our coastal erosion issues. Uh, CCA and our partners are actually out here building new marsh, which is not something you could say that often here in Louisiana anymore. So uh, to our members, to, to any volunteers that, uh, that, that follow CCA and to all the great kids and folks that are out here today, we say thank you for allowing us this opportunity. And this is our fourth project like this. We've done a couple down at uh, Ile de Jean Charles. We've done an another one near uh, Grand Isle. And what we found is that these uh, these floating islands actually outperform the natural marsh and so we've been told by fishermen uh, and anglers all around the coast that when they, they enc encounter one of our islands they'll try and fish it and they've caught redfish and speckled trout uh, and the, the islands are firmer, the plants are bigger, they're, they're healthier than the natural marsh so we're going to keep doing this as long as our partners uh, allow us to the opportunity to do so and uh, really excited to be out here today. Well, CCA has been around for 35 years in, in Louisiana. We uh, started uh, 35 years ago as, a, as an idea. Now we have over 25,000 members here in Louisiana, all conservation-minded members who, who want to see good uh, science-based uh, sound management practices put into place for our for our incredibly important saltwater fisheries here in Louisiana. We're an advocacy organization. Uh, we spend every day at the state capitol and, and in Washington, D.C. working for better management of these fisheries. But we also do great habitat projects, uh, projects like this. We work with youth organizations to bring the message of coastal stewardship uh, to everybody across the coast. So CCA's got a little something for everybody, uh, and it's easy to get involved. It's, it's so important to have these kids out here. You know, a lot of these kids come out here with their parents and do a little fishing, but they really don't understand the, the importance of, of rebuilding the marsh and, and the, the, the fact that we're losing it so quickly. So having these kids out here, putting their hands in the dirt, actually being a part of the solution uh, is, is so important to us at CCA and important to everybody in Louisiana because these kids will be our conservation leaders in, in a number of years. And if we can start them early, uh, we're, we're in for good things later on. Uh, we're going to build some brand new marsh right here behind us, and y'all are going to make it happen. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see. We've got a couple of schools with us this morning. We've got our friends from AMI Kids in the back. How about a nice round of applause for AMI Kids? And there's another school here. I can't remember which one it is. Is it uh, Catholic High, uh, New Iberia? How about a nice round of applause for Catholic High? What grade? What grade do we have here? Fourth and fifth. Fourth and fifth. And we've got uh, high school age kids from, uh, from AMI, so we've got a great group. Uh, and what y'all are doing here today is really, really important. And we'll talk a little bit about all of that. Uh, just so you know, my name is Mr. David, uh, and I am with the Coastal Conservation Association of Louisiana, CCA. Just Quick, uh, by show of hands, who's heard of CCA before? All right, have y'all ever seen those little redfish stickers on the back of people's pickup trucks? That's CCA. Uh, and if you had never heard about it before, you'll be able to tell people now that CCA is out working to build new marsh habitat, and y'all were part of it on an important day in May of 2018. Everybody got that? Our company developed these, uh, these floating wetlands. Um, we, we, we started this mainly for our love for coastal Louisiana. Um, we wanted to try to do something to give back and uh, try to protect the coast that we grew up fishing and, and enjoying our, uh, our summers on. And, and so we came up and developed this technology. Um, we, we plant these wetlands and uh, create fish habitat, create, uh, create wildlife habitat for, for birds and things like that. So it's, uh, it's been fun. It's been fun to, uh, to be able to do these projects with CCA and with Shell and uh, all of our other partners. And um, it, it's just nice to be able to do a little part, whatever we can do to, to give back. Really cool technology uh, brought to us a few years back by our friends at Martin Ecosystems. You can see these mats that are behind me. Uh, they're synthetic mats that have pre-drilled holes in them. Uh, and we're going to go put in native plants into those, into those holes, uh, fill them up with, uh, 
with mulch and so on and so forth. Uh, and then we're going to bring them out to a spot in the marsh that, that we plan to rebuild. They're going to be anchored to the seafloor. Uh, and what will happen is these synthetic mats will give those plants the, the barrier they need to help uh, to, to plant themselves into the, the seafloor. So the, the plants will root strong and firm into the seafloor, creating a better long-term uh, you know, island. So a really cool project, and we're going to build, I think, 5,000 or so square feet of new island today. So the islands are made from 100% recycled PET plastic, which is the same plastic that they use to make your, uh, your drinking bottles. Um, so they, we, we make the islands uh, using the PET. It's all adhered together with uh, marine foam. Uh, it's all safe for the environment. Um, then we, we take these islands, uh, we cut out plant holes into the islands, and then we drop in plant plugs and uh, just kind of let nature do its thing. My job was to plant, was to put plants into a marsh to send out into the coast so we can avoid land erosion. Why'd you come out here today? I came out here to help plant, to put marshes out so we can avoid land erosion to help Louisiana. How serious is coastal erosion in the state? It's really serious because if there is land erosion, we might not have a Louisiana about 20 years. My job is to plant plants so we can send them out. So because the lands and the marshes are eroding, we just want to help make floating islands. What went through your mind when that first island uh, hit the water? I was like, wow, I'm having a bunch of fun out here and I'm helping the environment. So. Why not? My job here was to replant the coastal marshes because they were eroding. What did you learn? I learned that when it comes to building coastal marshes, we have to work very hard to try to build them. I learned that um, it's a lot of hard work and we lose a football field of the coast every, every day. What was your job here? We've been planting grass, different types of grass, and then they're moving it out to make floating islands. What are you going to tell your family about what you did today? Um, I helped make, I built, helped let New Iberia not get smaller. They live on the coast and erosion affects their lives because their homes are near the coast and erosion affects them directly. I'm a fourth grade teacher at Catholic High School. Um, the lesson that we went over before we came out here was about coastal erosion and how it affects their um, lives because a lot of them have camps out here that they like to come to. So we just talked about how um, a lot of factors are coming into um, hurting our coastal line and so we learned we we planted a garden to learn how to plant the marshes um, and then we talked we just talked about how um, how this will benefit them personally what did the students learn what kind of feedback have you had today oh they love it they are they're having so much fun um, a lot of them are saying like miss Katie we already know how to do this from planting the garden a lot of them are saying uh, how much fun they're having, how they're pointing out their camps, they're, you know, they're just having a blast. They're about to eat lunch and having a good time. I'm a fifth grade science teacher at Catholic High in New Iberia, and the fifth graders, we've been talking about coastal erosion and how we lose over a football field of soil each day and um, how they play a very important role in how to uh, preserve and conserve our futures of these coasts. Um, growing up around this area, seeing the coastal erosion that took place over time, um, it's amazing what they are doing here to stop it. Uh, during my lifetime, I've seen half of the coast wash away in the Bay Area, and um, it's good to see that we have something positive. How did this uh, project drive the point home to the students? This was a great uh, culmination after the lesson for them to learn about all the wild animals and how it affects not only just our coastlines, what we look at, but also the animals that they affect in their habitats. I learned that a whole lot of coastal erosion is going on on the coast, and we're here to help, help out. What went through your mind when that first uh, island was towed out to water? Um, like, I feel good about it. It was nice. How serious is the problem of coastal erosion in Louisiana? I mean... It's serious, because I thought it wasn't that serious at first, but when I came and seen that thing, it got a little serious after that, so I thought I'd come out to and help. I came out here to build, you know, the artificial uh, island, you know, and I learned about some, I think it's salt mines, and I learned how to plant and help the children and stuff. What went through your mind when the first one was towed out to water? Uh, this is heavy, but 
and then I got wet, but that's what was really going through my mind. It was pretty heavy, but I worked through it. Most of our kids are from the inner city or from the city life, and they've never been out in the country or never been out in this kind of an environment, and they've learned about erosion. They've learned about salt water. We had some lessons about the salt mines and the islands surrounding Vermilion Bay. So in general, they've just learned so much more today than they would get just in school, and they're doing hands-on work here putting in these new islands in the marsh. What's your reaction to this entire project? I think this project is wonderful for multiple reasons. One, it's helping rebuild the marsh. Secondly, it is teaching all these young kids about environmental issues that need to be learned. And thirdly, we're putting good use to plastics and other things by building these mats that are reusable rather than just trash. And they're picking up trash around here as well. What'd you learn? That it was a lot of hard work. What'd you think when the first island went out the water? It was pretty fun building them, and uh, it was cool seeing them go out. What are you going to tell your family about what you did today? Okay. That I made a marsh. I learned that uh, working for the coast to help to help erosion is very important. How serious is coastal erosion in Louisiana? It is very serious because we could lose a lot of land, and um, we could even lose towns. This project has just been uh, a, a huge success you know you can tell by all the kids that are here today the excitement you know and I'm excited for them I'm excited that adults are able to work with the kids and to be able to share their experiences of coastal Louisiana and how to enhance this great place we live. Energy is proud to be a sponsor of this project. It's just one of the many ways that Energy likes to support the community with volunteers and protecting our coastline. We understand that CCA plays a key part in making our coastline saving and enduring our coastline. I'm excited about the young people, the fishermen, the young fishermen that we have and educating them on, on habitat and resources and, and the importance of all that uh, going forward. Just so, so cool, so excited. It's, it's so great to see so many smiling faces with these young kids who are uh, just about to finish their, their fourth and fifth grade years at, at New Iberia or, or some of them their high school years at, uh, at AMI Kids. But what a way to go out in your, in your school year, to come out here, have fun. It's a little warm, but the kids are in great spirits. Uh, we've already built a couple of the islands. We're about to put them in the water and just uh, so proud to be a small part of this, uh, this incredible project. It's just exciting. It's exciting to be uh, to be out here and, and uh, have all these young kids and be able to teach them um, about what we do and about you know trying to uh, help rebuild the coast. So it's uh, you know it's fun. We're glad to be a part of it. If people have questions, like more information, what should they do? Well, they can go to our website, ccalouisiana.com. They can read all about this project, read all about the work we do at the state capitol, uh, or read about all the programs that we have at CCA. And it's easy to get involved, join right there online, or give us a call at the office. The phone number is also on the, on the uh, website. Hi.